always can't seem to find the notes that you jot down somewhere or important information. So you end up have to go search for this information. Do you know that searching is a waste of time? You can use this time instead to finish your task earlier. Now that way it will improve your work productivity. Let me show you a method that I use. It's called Para method. I use it to organize my important information inside Microsoft OneNote. I hope this video will help you to become more organized and also become more productive. There's another method that I use. It's called the Para method, right? The Para method, okay, by Tiago Forte. It's basically separate into this one, two, three, and four folders, yeah? Now you can see here, you have P-A-R-A, -A, right? Project, Area, Resource, and Archive, right? So project means that all things related to project, I'll throw in, in here. Areas are things like that is related to your work, your responsibility, okay? So we can see an example here like areas, if you're in charge of marketing, HR, yeah? Or even like the health of your workers, continuous improvement, you can set it all over here, the areas, okay? So like here, area, maybe you take care of uh, warehouse expansion, sourcing or Kaizen, okay, purchasing. So you can put it all right over here inside the area. Now, if your area have a lot of things, you can always create a new section group. Just like here, example, right? Like archive, I can create new section group, okay? If not, just keep it simple, okay? Now, resources means that all the information that you want to keep for reference later on, I'll throw it into the resources. And then finally, archive means that the old information when you organize, yeah, the things that those are information that you no longer need, maybe like old meetings. So you're gonna drag it right over here, yeah? So let's say example, I just have it. Uh, okay, change my drawing. Oh, things. Okay, so if I no longer this, I can archive it. I just drag and drop over here. See the old meet, the old meetings right over here. Yeah. Now by all means, don't be worried. And if you just want to try and you want to like delete it, okay, just delete it, right? So I, in archive, you can create many sections. Let's say usually we will archive for meetings, you know, archive for, let's say you want to have like archive for projects, PRO, Jack, okay? And then you can drag all your old projects into here, yeah? Now, of course, if you want to think that you no longer need it, you want to just delete it, by all means, you can do that. So usually what we want to do, is we just keep it here, archives. So in case we need it, we can always find it right over here. Now, of course, if you know how to use the tag, yeah, go watch some of the video that I created earlier to teach you how to, to tag and then able to, to search through the tag. Okay, let me show you here, where is the tag, uh, the home, this is the tag, all right? Now you can create all types of tag, and then you can search all your to-dos, your, you see, high priority to-dos, medium priority to-dos that we just created, yeah? So you can actually search by tag name, okay, search by section, and so on. Yeah, this is for this notebook only. Now you can search by section or can search by page or all your notebook is totally up to you. It is very easy to use if you know how to tag it. Now pause this video right now. I want you to go and try set up this product system in your OneNote. You may want to rewind back and follow this step-by-step -step guide. Now, I would love to hear feedback from you whether this method helps you or not, or you have a better systems that you are using to organize your information. Just leave a feedback in the comments below. 
By the way, I'm Andrew and I created productivity video like this. So do subscribe to our channel if you want to grow your career and become more productive. Meanwhile, here's some other video that we created. I believe it will help you boost your productivity.